All right, guys, so we finished six of the tales so far, ended with Porum's last, and then we got Edward's tale now, Starcross Damsian. Aided by his neighbors, Edward has nursed the kingdom of Damsian back to health. One night he witnesses a meteor strike from within his castle's windows. After a barren emissary orders Edward not to touch the crass site, the king travels to Cecil's domain with his secretary, Harley, in search of an explanation. This one might be one of the last full, like, sit-down ones we do. Um, I was talking to Brian uh, Pendel in the comments, and they were mentioning some of these are not, they're not, like, four hours long. Some of them are, like, 10 to 15 to, you know. It, it, it could be, it could go beyond the 24-hour limit set by YouTube. Chancellor, I have urgent business to discuss with the king. Is his highness present? If you would lower your voice, sir, the king is currently occupied with matters of utmost importance. There is no time for that. There are serious financial matters that must be addressed at once. We were ordered not to let anyone through, sir, if you would kindly return at a later time. This is an insult. I have come to conduct official business. What seems to be the matter? Oh, that's his assistant. Secretary of the King of Damsian, Harley. We've seen her in other chapters. Ah, Harley. Could you help me talk some sense into these people? What is the problem? Our ledgers have yet again fallen into the red this month. Damsian is facing a severe financial crisis. Allow me to consult with the king personally about this. But his highness explicitly requested no visitors. Not even me? Uh... Well then, thank you very much for intervening on my behalf, Harley. Not at all. I believe I left specific word to turn away all callers. King of Damson, Edward Chris von Muir. Muir. Something like that. <laughs> Even your own royal secretary, your highness? Is this an urgent matter? Doubtful, my lord. I trust it is the chancellor worrying himself over trivial matters yet again. This is about our support pledge, I suppose. I thought I had left you in charge of that matter. I fear we can no longer keep it under wraps, your highness. Perhaps some reconsideration is in order? There is no reconsidering to be done. The recovery of Damsian was only made possible by our neighbors in Mist and Fabul. Certainly, my lord, but to extend ourselves now to Eblon as well? That's why I was counting on you to take care of it for me. Only you have the talent for this post. It is a great honor to hear such compliments, Your Highness. The affair is in your hands. Yes, Your Highness. If I may, my lord. Yes? I believe there are times when the head of a kingdom must act with a firm, calculated hand. True enough. The head of a kingdom. And yet neither Damsia nor I would be here now were it not for the voyage to the moon. 
Yeah, Edward didn't help at all. What was he doing? Edward's tail. Star-crossed Amcian. I really, I mentioned it before, but I really do like this episodic format quite a bit. A falling star? Yes, it appears to have landed in the vicinity of Fabul. Ah, so last night's earthquake. Indeed, the shockwave from the impact, no doubt. Have you considered that it might be related to that second moon? Yes. Then, then the horrors of the past have returned. Calm yourself, Chancellor. It is too early to make such conclusions. I think a full investigation of this object is in order, Your Highness. I would like to inform Baron about this first. Cecil's viewpoint would be very helpful to us right now. I will summon a messenger immediately. Your Highness, if I may presume to ask, please allow me to handle the investigation. Are you sure, Harley? I believe I have the requisite knowledge and experience for the position, my lord. It will be dangerous. Then allow me to bring several members of your guard along for emergencies. I will join you. But, Highness... Who would guide our kingdom should something happen in your absence? Still. Please, my lord, you have nothing to worry about. My lord. Has Harley returned? Not yet, I'm afraid. Is there any word from the messenger we sent the Baron? Unfortunately, there is not, Your Highness. Too much time has passed. Something has happened. We could deploy a search party upon daybreak, my lord. A wise idea. We will wait until sunrise. Yes, Your Highness. I take my leave, then. Your Highness. I suppose you did not get a great deal of sleep last night either. Please try to get some rest. I will. Thank you, Chancellor. Good night, Your Highness. Anna. Tella. What a weird rest for the night now. I don't want to rest for anything. I'm looking for treasure, man. Say, I was going to say, what a weird hue. Just kind of hanging around. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't want to, like, trigger the next thing, you know? Like, I want to I wanna fully explore, so I'm worried I'm going to, like, somewhat, like, I'm going to enter a place, and then it's going to be, like, now proceeding with the plot. Oh, no. Plot. Harley must be keeping you awake with worry, my lord. Indeed. The room is ready, sir. The sheets have been changed for her return. You had best get some sleep yourself as well. Thank you. Then I will take my leave, sir. Okay, I don't know if this is... If I enter here, if it's going to... Okay, that looks, that looks suspiciously like a continuation of the plot. A lot of Z's happening in this room. I don't know, maybe there isn't anything to like actually get like in terms of treasure or anything. I mean, that's, in, that's entirely possible for sure. 
I mean, that's definitely... That definitely could be the case. It would be wise to get some rest tonight, Your Highness. I am worried about Harley, my lord. The messenger should have returned by now. Something must have happened to him in Baron. So I want to see if we can, like, leave. What has you awake at this time of the night, my lord? Okay, yeah, definitely not. Definitely not going to allow me to leave, per se. What if I... I don't know. So here's the thing. Like, in every single chapter, in every single castle, in every single whatever, uh, there's been, like, towers with treasure in them. And I don't know if DMCN has that. Oh, hey. Potion. It was all worth it. Storehouse. Spider silk. Bomb core. And then we got a potion from that last... That last item. Okay, so there's there it looks like there might be something. You know what? I think not to have low standards, but I, I think that's good enough for me. Well actually, can we is there a is there a crystal room? Oh, maybe not. No maybe it's like behind the throne. What's this? Harley's diary. Read the diary. Yes. That moon has shown itself once more. Are those terrifying days of war about to stage a return? The peace we enjoy today is wholly a product of King Edward and his companions. Military might is not what will drive our kingdom in the future. Education and science are the true catalysts. I believe this is so fer I believe this so fervently that I traveled to Troya and devoted my younger days to study. This and nothing else allowed me to attain the position of royal secretary that I enjoy today. King Edward is too kind to me. My duties are stressful, but I find every day in this castle to be rewarding. If I could have it so, I would want this life for myself forever, a life free of war and strife. It may be my imagination, oh, this is a new entry, it may be my imagination, but ever since that moon returned to the sky, the soothing, reassuring notes from King Edward's harp have taken on a timber of deep sadness. Oh, maybe it wasn't a new ent entry. Harley. Ah, this is not the best place to doze off like that. Oh, it's just gonna happen again. All right, let's let's go to bed. I I don't know if there's much. Uh, we we need to wait till morning. You know, I'm such a dummy. I actually didn't check how much uh, hard drive space I have today, because I think last time I didn't check that we got in trouble. Why am I here? Why are you there? Anna. Edward. What is it, Anna? Why must you look so sad? Anna! Or he's just like, Anna. Like a, a sudden. There's one of those. He definitely said her name. I think we gotta leave, though. I, I don't know. I feel like our, our quest is out out of here. You know what I just remembered? Um, 
all of Edward's abilities. So I think he's actually going to be really useful in a party. Like, I think for sure he's going he's gonna to be the dude to have. My lord, are you still having trouble sleeping? If you'll excuse me, your majesty, it is time for the changing of the guard. What a weird way to change the guard. The meteor likely landed in the area around Mount Hobbs. I'm sure of it now. Harlan must have met some difficulty crossing the mountain passes. Or, you know, at the meteor site. See, I feel like if you were changing the guard, you'd have, like, the guard to come up there. Your Highness. Your Highness, do you realize what time it is? Where are you going at this hour? They are conveniently colored to be party members. I just thought I'd get some fresh air outside. What is it? Gray, green, and blue? Yeah. Your Highness. It's like army men over there, actually. <laughs> Your Highness, we can, can hardly have the ruler of Damsian strolling outside by himself. Please at least take these guards with you. All right. And don't stray too far away from the castle. I will do what I want. I know. The guards have joined your party. Ah. Uh, I should probably know by now, like, where this meteor hit, but I can never remember. Like, legitimately, it's a struggle. So let's 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 give this a let's give this a shot. So Bard Song. Wait, what? Oh, he just had Bard Song. Okay. Sure. Guardians Ballad. Ballad? That makes more sense. Because I was going to say, didn't he heal before? Like, that's all he did? I don't remember this being so, uh... So multi, like... Multi-use, I guess. Alright, yeah, let's... Okay. That's not too bad. And then let's, uh... Like I said, let's verify that they actually get experience. Okay, so they get experience and level up. Cool. I'll take it. I mean, honestly, at a certain point, I'll take what I can get <laughs> with some of these, with some of these level ups and such. It is, uh, it is tough. I just have to make sure there's nothing, because they added new stuff on me. Like they added that tower and stuff. It was like apparently that's a thing now. I, I, mean, I don't know what to expect. Arguably, if I just attacked with Edward here, we we we, we would have wiped out the goblins. With uh, without taking damage, but I'm not sure. I definitely cannot guarantee that. Okay, maybe not. This one's this one's tough. He's he's not going down for anything. Yeah, I mean, I think looking around, I mean. There's really, there's really nothing. Like, there's nothing noteworthy outside that cave that we probably have to enter. Oh, there's a bridge. That's exciting. Oh, wait, no. There's literally a... Okay, I'm dumb. Yeah. So, apparently, the, that's where the... <laughs> Antlion's Den, B1. Sure. Look at the Antlion's Den. This is not at all where we need to be, by the way, but I'll go there. Oh, am I dead, actually? I'm so dumb. I could just be dead here. I don't know how strong these guys are. This is really awkward if I die. No effect. Dude, how lame. Okay, I think I'm fine. I don't think I'm gonna die here. I mean, I guess depending on, like, when we can actually take one of these guys down. The idea is that, like, maybe I'll bard song and then I'll, uh, heal, but... I don't know what it's doing. Is it casting, like, Protect? I guess it could be. Like, that's... I mean, that's possible. It could just be, like, a protection thing. I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm not in love with it. It's okay, but it's not great. I 
Oh wait, why did she have to go through the mountain pass if there was just a bridge? I'm so confused. She said Harley might have had trouble with the mountain pass. There's a legitimate bridge I crossed. Am I... Am I in the wrong? Is that giant hole in the earth not where the meteor struck? Is that not... Is that not how that works? I don't know. I... We need to figure that out. First things first, though. I think I need to exp fully explore it. Like, this is a bridge. Um, <laughs> again, stating the obvious. Yeah, this is a bridge. But, um, yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like she just took the long way if she took the mountain pass. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Why would you do that? Do we, do we want to get crazy? Do we need to... Oh, we want to get crazy. We have so much money. Let's do it. Let's get crazy. Let's get absolutely wacky. Um, you know what? I actually don't care about their life so much as their damage. This is how much I think I'm going to use potions. <laughs> if you were wondering why I'm putting literally a thousand, thousands and thousands of gil. You gotta use what you got, right? Let me tell you, that, uh, that, that, uh, Seneschal or whatever thought we were in the red. Just, just he wait. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go all the way in the red. There's, there's gonna be no black here. There's gonna be no, there's gonna be no meeting the budget, you know? Nothing like that. It is, we are all the way red on this economic stability. It is gonna be rough. All right, let's... I, I think I think I need to sleep in my own bed because I really need to heal my party. I hope that actually heals the party. Fingers crossed. Oh, we can't do that. We have to use... Do we have to use... Oh, my gosh. Using potions feels so wasteful. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like such a, such a bummer. All right, I'll use potions, whatever game. Oh, we don't wanna do that yet. Remember, we wanna do everything that isn't the, uh... oh wait, that was probably a waste. Uh, everything that isn't the plot. Including getting adamantite, maybe, potentially. I don't know. I'm actually torn on that. We might actually not achieve that right now. All right, we're just gonna attack. I I feel like Bard Song has been incredibly disappointing over time. Uh, it's just not doing it, whatever effect it's doing. I don't care for, and when it does no effect, I definitely don't care for that. So I feel like in general we just need to we just need to buckle down and and just do whatever we gotta do, right? Like it's it's fine. Guard A leveled up, Edward leveled up, Guard B and C, look at that. We should probably also give them their super weapons. Because they're going to want those. They get long swords now. They have five more attack. Or ten more attack, five less accuracy. So, I think it's a good trade. I feel pretty confident about that. Zeus's Wrath. What a scary thought. Cool. I mean, all in all, it's looking pretty promising. And then again, we're just gonna just gonna go crazy. You know what I was just thinking? Like, what the what the issue probably is? And, and I mean, I'm sure like I'm sure I can find out soon. But is is probably like depending on what harp I equip depends on what bard song does. I think that's probably the issue. I just didn't equip with the right harp, right? I don't know, that makes sense to me.
Man, what a fight. What a fight. I realized I should have gotten comfortable beforehand. I, I <laughs> The thing about recording these videos and stuff is you kind of like... At least for me, I'm, I'm kind of buckling in for like three hours of just uh, just playing this game. Which isn't isn't like not... Like it's... It's fun, but when I'm recording, it's hard to like get up, right? Like, cause if I if I get up in general, I have to um, I have to cut the video, and then I've gotta, you know, combine the footage. And it could just be me, but the last like Ridius Tale took 24 hours to process. It took so long. I mean, is it 4K and it's four hours of footage and it's like 150 gigs and I, mean, I don't know. It just it just took a long time, so. Trying to avoid having to do any sort of processing like that. Definitely takes a bit. Cool. Now I think we're doing really good though, because honestly I imagine we're probably going to go through this cave again. Like at another point, which will be like part of the story. But we'll already know that we have all the treasure, which is nice. So we won't, we won't have to search again, although I might forget and search again, but... Who knows? That's part of the excitement, right? You never really know what's gonna happen. Yeah, let me double check. Ignores formation, chance to inflict sleep. Yeah, I feel like equipping like a different, like, harp would do different things. I'll probably have to check like a shot. I might have to like actually try, right? Like that might be the thing. Like, I've got to actually give it a shot and see what happens. Edward's level one up. Nice. He's he's leveling up, man. A little leveler over there. I'm not gonna heal the guards quite yet. I think I think they can take more of a beating. I'm pretty confident in their abilities. B2. I feel like I'm playing bingo with these callouts. Can we live? That is always the question. Let's see. Oh, we're pro honestly we're probably gonna be fine this entire this this entire dungeon like we're we're killing it like there's not really an issue here okay, thunder's kind of annoying at least guard C has uh he's he's earned the right to get an, a potion because he's because <laughs> we're actually gonna fully utilize the the usefulness of the potion that's the thing I didn't want to do I didn't want to like heal and then like waste uh, like some of the possibility of like the healing which I know I've done before I've healed for like 12 HP on a potion and you're like come on dude but I'm actually not sure when this is gonna end so I don't know there, there's there's like always two parts of me and this part's saying like yeah you probably be cautious this time probably probably give it a little bit more time before you start just generously throwing out you know everything but we'll watch we'll you live by those uh, those words today Speaking of, actually, are we actually good? Yeah, I mean, that's full, that's full. Yeah. So they got the full usefulness of the potion. We don't have to max HP him. It's not, it's not critical to do that. But they're, they're fine. And then as we delve deeper, get items, like, we should just be good. We might actually start one-hitting these enemies if we don't, you know, if we don't stop leveling up like this. I wouldn't be surprised. potion nice I will say I don't expect to find like adamantite uh, this early on as well as I, even though I am hopeful for it I think finding it at this point in the story would be kind of crazy actually granted I don't think we're supposed to enter this area so I mean how crazy is it really right I 
I don't know. Honestly, there probably is an argument for um, just going straight to the Meteor Crash site. Uh, and the reason being is that I, I think Harley is going to be a big part of our party in this, um, in this chapter. So we're missing out on leveling her up the more we uh, level up these guards, which probably aren't that critical. But the reason I, um, the reason I bought them new weapons is I think it was affordable for what we were doing. And I'm not, I don't know, I'm not like a gill saver. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not really worried about running out of money because generally we don't. Generally it's fine. Like, that's all it is. It's just fine. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I think we'll be okay. High potion, nice. Dog barking, nice. <laughs> no, I live around a bunch of dogs and I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a dog person so I don't mind them. No, I had someone, uh, some stranger's dog came up to me the other day. And they were just like apologizing like like a bunch. And they're like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, nah, this is good for me. Like, I'm okay with him showing up, dude. It's not a big not a big deal. This is probably terrible advice, but in general, I think most of the dogs you see wandering around that approach you aren't like they're not gonna bite you or anything. They're just like curious, so generally my strategy if you wanna trade dog dog petting strategies. Uh, <laughs> I just hold like an open palm uh, like towards them with my palm facing straight up in the air and then like get like halfway to them right so I, I don't approach them they approach me so I think it makes them more comfortable because like they're, they're dictating the pace of, of the contact not me and I think if you like if you rush an animal it can scare it sometimes because it's like oh no I don't like this you're you're setting the pace and I, I want to control this. Yeah. Top tier, yeah, sub subscribe for more top tier dog petting tips. That's actually what we're going to be doing. <laughs> no, it's good stuff. I'm telling you guys, I'm keeping it serious. I gotta use the full potion to get full value. Ah, we, we, we learn about specially protected zones again. See, this is interesting. I wonder if Kane's Tale is gonna do the same thing because at this point it should know, like we know what a save is. <laughs> like it's, it's not, it's not like a huge mystery to us, right? Like it, I don't know. I, I think it will be the same way because I think, um, I think Theodore's tale told us the same thing as well, and it's it keeps on doing the whole like you know, just so you know, like this thing. It's it's interesting. And and actually, something I I learned way too late about this game. Uh, so this was released like I think for the phone or something or the Nintendo like 3DS or, or something like that. It was released on another system before PC, of course, but. It was released episodically, like every month. So I'm hopeful that the the order I played the episodes in are the same order they released. Like, because I, I want to like I want to keep as like formulaic, not formulaic. That's a bad word. As sequential, yeah. I want to keep as sequential um, a playthrough as I can with this. And I th I think I did, but I I mean I think I did, right? Like I maybe probably. Fingers crossed is, is is where I'm currently at. Have I already been down here? I think I did. Did I go down here? I actually don't remember. See, I don't know where I've been. Let's face the green ladies, though. It'll be fine. The leshies, if you will.
Ooh, this could be tough. Do I actually have anything that's gonna... Healing Harmony is good. Gosh, this feels so bad. Um... I think I, I think I just gotta use use my items right. Or there's not there's not a lot of options I have here. Cause I don't know. Does Bard Song do anything to? Man, this is this is gonna actually be awful. I didn't I didn't think about this. <laughs> I didn't think. I didn't think like, oh, like, there's gonna be flans that I need Harley to kill. Because I feel like Harley's gotta be the only one, right? Like, so here's my theory. Harley joins the party and she's the person that deals with those flans. Like, that's, that's the only thing that makes sense to me, so. Like, I feel like I do need her for that. So that was a bit of a mistake on my part. These are really pretty, though. I like this. Little, like, quicksand sort of thing flying from the sky. At this, at this point, we might just need to run from those fights. I don't want to use two items every single time. That's not uh, ideal in any sense of the word. Oh, well, maybe we're actually already done. So this is where we're going to get crazy. Maybe. No, we're fine. I don't know. Do I want to fight the antlion? Do I want to die today? Critical questions. I really hate that I can't change the camera angle and see if the antlion's there. Well, wait, didn't, last time, didn't, like, it just appear? It, like, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like, oh, like, I'm just sitting here in the middle of the room. Like, it descended upon us. So I guess it probably wouldn't matter. Edward's level one up. Let's see if we trigger a boss. Do we want to do it? I don't know. I don't. You, you know what? We didn't come this far. We didn't make all the sacrifices. Anna didn't die for, for us to run away now. That's what I'm going to say. Oh. But buddy, do you do you want to fight me? You just you just gonna give me the dude? He's <laughs> see he doesn't want to talk to us. That's so lame. I was I was ready to rumble, dude. I was I was getting pumped up. I was putting on my workout mix, dude. It was gonna be awesome. And then he didn't even want to fight. What a jerk. I'm not even worth the effort. I broke into his home and he didn't even want to defend it. He was like, have it. Take my stuff. See if I care. Alright, well, let's let's leave this place then. A boulder rest here. Yeah, they, they all don't care. Okay, whatever. Wait, actually, is there... Before I completely whatever out of here. Let's make sure. Is there, like... There's nothing... I mean, there could be treasure chests way up above, but I don't think there is. Uh, this is a bad reasoning, but the reason I don't think there is is because I checked in the other tales. Like I said, probably not the best reasoning. do it let's let's get Adel out of here so we know what's what's up with the antlions den so I'm 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 confident to say we fully completed this oh do we actually have bands no we have, we have bands with no one in this party got it cool I don't want to band with anyone anyways I just don't want to face those flans again I mean, like I said, if I do, I'm just going to leave. 
Like, I'm not, I'm not fighting them. It just feels like so resource intensive, right? Like to throw, to throw consumable items at them just seems just too much. I don't even like the fact that I used all my Zeus's Wraths. This might be like a, a crazy, like thought process, but the reason I don't like it is because I'm worried that I won't have enough mages if I need magic. And if I get against a boss that's like, you know, water starts surging. You know, you guys remember that guy. You know, Calco, whatever his name was. Um, Kalagnos, I forget his name. He was from Final Fantasy IV, the original, of course. Um, but, like, you, we had to cast Thunder to, to like, stop him from, like, casting a super spell. And, and the worry is, like, if I use these consumable items, then um, I won't have enough to actually, like, cast against him. The, uh, the argument against that is I think I think people in the castle are literally selling these consumables, so we could probably stock up if we need to. It's just nice if we randomly encounter someone. Dude, no, this meteor is just awful. What's happened here? Is she could hardly really be all right? So I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now, uh, this, uh, this, this story is going to be three hours long. That's my, that's my, uh, guess. Uh, and the reason it's my guess, it's educated, I should say. Um, I was cheating, like I'm, I, I, I don't even remember if I mentioned, but I was cheating. I was looking up, um, other people's Let's Plays of, uh, of all the stories, because I needed to figure out, like, because I, I, I tried to look it up on, like, like how long it like it, there's like a website that's like how long to beat it versus like complete it versus full completionist run um and the website didn't have the individual chapters it just had the like the um the whole game so i was trying to figure out how long edward's tra chapter was yeah it's it's for it's for mental sanity right so i need to uh yeah so the, so the person i watched I think they did it in like two and a half hours. Uh, well, I didn't watch them so much as I opened up the playlist and saw the combined time of the videos. Um, oh my gosh, these worms. I'm actually worried about the worms. So here's my, here's, okay, never mind. I'm not worried at all. You know, like in every single chapter, they do the like, don't enter this area when the moon is like at this phase. I was worried that we somehow entered the crater at the bad, bad phase that was gonna get us wiped. Um, yeah, no, I, I looked at the the total like time of um, of how long it took them to beat Edward's chapter, and it looked like about two and a half hours. Um, so I'm I'm quoting three because I know how I play the game, and I take forever. I'm I'm I'm. I, you know what? I bet that person, I don't know if they did, but I bet you that person in the video went straight to the meteor. They didn't even stop. They didn't even, they didn't even stop to consider they go to the antlion's den. Like, uh, and have fun. And they just, they were like, nope, um, it's all business. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm generally pretty slow at these games. As, as crazy as it sounds, I'm actually probably going to be pretty slow at Final Fantasy X as well. Like, I think, like, the pace I set myself at oftentimes is, like, a self, like, self-set pace. So, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's, uh, it's very much I don't know what I'm doing, which is, uh, not entirely, okay, I, I feel like I can't, I can't give one of these guys iron armor. You know, no, there's no permanent character in this party named Guard B or A. Okay, I don't, I love the idea of talking to, to Mr. Monster. Sure. Ah, my lord. Oh, thank goodness. Are you alright? Yes, sir. I apologize for worrying you. Our investigation has encountered numerous snags. Where is Harley? Straight ahead, my lord. Harley is conducting your business up ahead. But yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna take me a bit to, to do this one. Final Fantasy X, like I said, will be the same way. I just like I'm gonna I'm gonna really take my time and just kind of leisurely walk through and, and such. Not gonna get too crazy with it.
Guards are leveling up, man. Edward's le Dude, everyone's leveling up. Good for them. We're having a level up party. Ah, these dang cockatrices. I will say these design the the designs for these cockatrices are significantly different than the ones I'm used to. Um, I think the first game I saw them introduced to was Final Fantasy XII. Um, I mean, clearly that wasn't the first game they ever existed in, but just in my personal experience was like the first time I saw them. So it's it's always weird to see them in, in less of a fat ball, <laughs> you know. It's a little bit odd. Ah, the potion. I don't know, after everything that's happened in this crater, like, I'm so... I'm so wary of anyone, like, like trusting anyone, right? Like, it's, it's just too... It's too much, man. I can't trust anymore. That's what I'm getting at. I can't trust anymore. Alright. What do we got here? Oh, a beret. That could actually equip, probably. Hey, there it is. I mean, I know we're gonna have... It's Edward's story. If he dies, then I don't know what's going on. Fun fact, actually, uh, Brian Pendel is gonna have to correct me on this, but they had mentioned offhand in one of their comments, like, um, like, things can change if any of Edge's companions die. I've already done that chapter, and I've, I've completed it. I didn't know they could die. I had no idea. So apparently, like, again, Brian, correct me if I'm wrong, but we could have we could have just died as one of them, and that would have been it. Like, it would have ended the chapter. It would have been like, yeah, that sucks, man. Looks like he died, which is I love actually. I think that's really cool. Um, but definitely, uh, definitely crazy. I had no idea that would be a thing. Your Highness, what brings you here, my lord? I was getting a tad antsy, waiting, sitting around waiting for you. It is too dangerous for you to be here, sir. Oh, I'm quite all right. If you can survive this, I certainly can. Is Harley up ahead? Yes, my lord. She ignored our pleas and proceeded further. I mean, all in all, like, maybe I'm crazy. If I was them, I wouldn't worry too much about this right now, because like these are all pretty normal enemies. Like, right? Like, cockatrices, they're not moon enemies. They're not like the amoebas or anything. Which I think do show up in this crater later on. Because I remember facing some. So it's, all in all, it's kind of like business as usual, right? Like, a crater happened, monsters showed up, and like... Like, if I didn't know what I know, I would think this is all, like, pretty business as usual. Like, to a degree. Like, I wouldn't think it's anything like world-ending. I would think it's bad, but not, like, world-ending kind of thing. But, you know, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll go up further and find out more. Maybe, I mean, you, honestly, we might just show up and then Harley's facing some sort of moon monster. See, there's a part of me that says, like, hey, you should probably heal. Especially guard A. But then there's another part of me that says, like, hey, they might be, have one of those pots that just recover everything for you. See, it's always it's always my luck where, like, I, I heal my entire party with my items and stuff. And then I encounter one of those pots that are just, like, heal your entire party. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I, I had the opportunity right here and I just squandered it. It's definitely a reoccurring pain I've felt in life. And in this game. Alright. 
Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, ambushed. All right, I should probably use a bard song here. Okay, Garde is dead. Not to me, just in general. Maybe. I don't know, because they ambush and then they, like... I think they might, like... I don't know if I'll... What I'm trying to get at is, I don't know if I'll actually attack first. I might not. Oh, Healing Harmony? That's good, that's good. Out of curiosity, I think this is actually a good point to ask this question. Um... Kind of at the, like the middle. I mean, we're 51 minutes in. I think at this point, like you've you've, you've invested in the video. Um, what Final Fantasies have you guys played? Um, this is gonna sound so dumb. I was gonna ask Brian Pendel this specifically, but I was like, I should probably just ask everyone. Like, uh, what what Final Fantasies you have played? I'm curious because I, I I mean I've got my list and everything what I've played. I haven't played all of them in any sense of the word. But um, I put, I would I would argue I've played quite a few, especially after doing this like like um, like beginning of the Let's Play and stuff. Before I started doing the Let's Play on my uh, on this channel, I had played Final Fantasy one to like ten, ten to uh, seven. Oh, I got an achievement Good for me. Um, gosh, what else? I played twelve, thirteen, thirteen to too many. I, I don't want to. I, I realize now I don't want to go into the list like in a in a voice capacity, but um, I played quite a few. But just interested, pure curiosity. I know with the amount of content, the uh, list was probably going to be long. Could be long. What could the substance possibly be composed of? Hey, you got cure equipped. Harley? <laughs> it's as if the earth itself has putrefied. Could this have come from the moon? Bingo. I think that is a very, very astute observation. We're still not facing anything that I would clarify or qualify as like a moon creature. I mean, the demon is, like, arguable. But apart from that, I mean, I think that's, I mean, we, we're facing pretty, like, normal stuff. Haste March. I assume this is haste. I will say, maybe it's just me. I like from a design, like, perspective. Um, like, when someone's hasted, like, the white bar turns to, like red or something. I, I prefer that. I know it wouldn't work in this case because red equals taking an action but like another color in general. Yeah, I don't think this game does that. I haven't seen you do that. You just kind of like gotta figure it out. I think the reason I like it is because how I play is it's a little bit odd but generally I don't I don't look at like the monsters or the characters. I look in the bottom right all of the time where I'm just looking at like like what's you know what actions are next what MP is HP like I'm I'm really playing like a honestly at a certain degree I'm playing like a text-based game right? I'm like I'm not really looking at you know the the animations so much as I'm looking at everything else but them all right Man, it's been a long day of recording though what is it five o'clock 5 p.m. I started at 5 a.m. so We've been busy. Not straight through, I should clarify. I'm not I'm not that much of a monster. Just like channeling she's just running through all the videos, but Found Bronze Tail. What does the bronze tail do again? A bronze tail. Oh it's a tail! It's a tail! There's a tail collector! We got a tail! My gosh! That's awesome. Like, genuinely, that's really cool. That could come in, uh, like, useful. Maybe. Or it could be the worst tale we find. I don't know. That's the one That's the one bad thing about doing, like, a Let's Play like this, where it's it's just the stories and, like, you know, just the facts, man, nothing else sort of playthrough, is um, I miss out on a few collectibles. But I don't want to, um... 
Like I, I've, I've made the decision to record this way, and I don't want to break it easily. You know what I mean? It's like, how would I explain this? So like, I do, I do a Blitzball series as well, where I play to level 99 with teams, and it's episodic. So I play like match by match. I have like a, a match, and then we like record it, and then upload it, and then that's it. It would be like if on match 60, I did a stream where I recorded like 40 matches and then made it one big video. Like it would feel odd to me to do it like that. And that's how I feel about this, right? Like I, I feel bad. I do these long plays where we do the full story. And then like halfway through, I start doing like Edward part one, two, three, four, five, you know. Um, judging on what Brian said uh, regarding the episode length and everything, um, I think I'm gonna have to do that eventually. But I don't want to do it quite yet with like Edward's story. It'd be a, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't mind doing it starting with like Kane's, but I still gotta figure out what how big Kane's is. And it sounds like the biggest chapter is gonna be the last one. So that's actually the real like, the real bummer. I mean, arguably, if I want to get really like, if I want to get real nutty, um, I could um. I could do up to 24 hours, I think. I think that's the current limit YouTube has. Like, you can't record a video longer than 24 hours. Like, at that point, you gotta, you gotta call it. It's over. It's done. Hello, Harley. Your Highness. I told you coming here would be dangerous. I deeply apologize for worrying you, my lord. But this is no ordinary meteor we are dealing with. It certainly seems that way. Something beyond our comprehension has landed here. That is the only conclusion I can make. The moon. Something must be going on up there. But why did you come here, your highness? I just wanted to see the crash site with my own eyes. We had best return to Damsey and Harley. This should be enough investigating for now. But my lord... The messenger from Baron should be back by now. Let us return to the castle. Yes, your highness. Secretary Harley has joined the party. Does she know... Oh, is there... Oh, there's a band! Feast of the Land! Restores HP to all allies and cures certain status ailments. Weapon specific. Okay. I, I I like that it uh I like that it says that. Okay, no one knows magic. Cool. That seems like a plan. Let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna probably do that band just for fun. Cause we have to we have to see the bands, man. It's like a concert over here. We're just seeing bands. It's even more of a concert because Edward's the one doing it. Oh, not yet learned. Oh, that's lame. Uh, well then I'll bard song and then hit the heck out of everything else. How about that then? So, so she uses whips. She's like Rydia. I think Rydia used whips too. Or I just, or I just equipped whips to her. That's all, that is also a plausible possibility. <laughs> like I just equipped a random item on her and I was like, yeah, Rosie uses bows. <laughs> she shoots arrows. Only because I told her to, but you know, that's how that works. Eventually we will learn that band and life will be sick, but not yet. Ah, Worm and Centipede. I feel like I'm in Kingdom Hearts with all these randomized battles. <laughs> it's like her, uh, her uh, Olympus Coliseum or whatever, where you just like have random monsters that are somehow friends. It's weird, but it, it works, I guess. Harley's level increase. That is definitely welcome, considering she's apparently level 6. So, uh, she needs to, uh... <laughs> I wasn't wrong when I said she needs to level up. She definitely does. She is way behind. 
Okay, they're gonna return shortly. <laughs> they're not gonna make it, dude. I don't know why they're not coming with us. That's so odd. Like, I I think out of anyone that was gonna stay here the longest, it was gonna be Harley, right? Like, she was probably gonna be the one that's like, I'm not leaving because research, right? Like, she's she was the more stubborn-willed. I'm surprised to see that um, all the other uh, guards are still there. I think in the other stories, though, those they're monsters, right? Like, that is a, it is a bad time for them. So they are, I mean, they're in trouble. I think so. Now I've got my second challenge of the run. I think my controller's dying. Running out of battery. The guards are leveling up. Good for them, man. Good for them. Always good to see my favorite guard, guard A, leveling up. Do we even need a bard song here? I mean, I'm just going to do it because it feels like a good idea, you know? I talk about this a lot in the other stories, but uh, or chapters, whatever you want to call them, but the fact that we have abilities that recover HP and stuff for no resource is just broken. Um, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, like you're like, oh, we're recovering 60 like HP, who cares? But like, when you look at the actual numbers of... Uh, yeah, dude, come on, come with us, live. Um, like, it's like 20% of the HP for a party member, right? I mean, the only equivalent equivalent I can draw to, I mean, there's actually a few I can draw to, but like Final Fantasy X has like Prey, and it's it's significantly weaker because you, your percentage of HP recovered on, is not as high. Your Highness. Is it going to be the little girl? Hmm. It shouldn't be. It should be the moon, probably. Oh no, it's the Red Wings. The Red Wings. Perhaps they are bringing back our messenger. I can only hope so. Pardon? We must hurry. The sight of the airship discomforts me. Yeah, I don't think they're bringing back our messenger. I think they're sending a message. I'll take bombs over any sort of flan I gotta deal with. Flan. Flan. Something like that. I lose level one up. Hey, we learned the band skill. That's nice. Baron, our emissary awaits within Damsian Castle. Okay. The emissary from Baron is waiting for you, Your Highness. The emissary from... Okay, 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 I know, I know. Okay, I get it. The emissary from... Oh my gosh, dude. I just want to use the inn. Dude, they're gonna box me in. Thought I was the king here. Your Highness, an emissary from Baron has arrived. I noticed, Chancellor. I assume it was that way so I couldn't, like, cut ahead. So where is this emissary? He requested a tour of the castle while he was awaiting your return, my lord. A tour? Yes, my lord. Why now, of all times? Has he been to the Crystal Chamber? Not yet, my lord. Can you tell him not to go to the Crystal Chamber? Right this way, sir. His Majesty has returned. I don't like this. On behalf of my kingdom, I welcome you to Damsian. I come here with a message from the kingdom of Baron. There is no need for such ceremony, my friend. I trust King Cecil is faring well. 
Yes, your majesty. And what of Queen Rosa? Theodore must be a grown man by now, come to think of it. I am afraid I did not travel here to chat, your highness. My apologies, then. Let us return to the matter of King Cecil's message. Yes, your majesty. His majesty requests that the matter of the meteor be handled exclusively by Baron. Why is that? I was not provided with any further information. I see. The message is delivered. I shall be on my way. One moment if you could. Yeah, where's our messenger? Yes, your highness? In circumstances like these, King Cecil would have personally paid a visit. That is the kind of person he is, and always has been. Uh-oh. I will be sure to pass that message along to His Highness. Your Highness, what is the meaning of this? I trust that Cecil has due motivation for this decision, but my lord. Perhaps I ought to pay him a visit. You, you mean to go see him personally? Yes. You must bring guards at the very least. No, I do not want to involve the military with such haste. But my lord, I cannot in good conscience allow you to travel to Baron completely unescorted. Dude, he's got a secretary. Very well. I believe the specifics up to you. Guards, you will serve as His Majesty's escort on the journey to Baron. They better still have those swords equipped. Sir. Oh, they never even left the party. Oh, I should probably read that. Um, you can reach Baron by ship from the port of Kaipo. To reach Kaipo, however, you must cross the underground waterway, which is home to quite a few monsters. Please make sure you are thoroughly prepared before departing, my lord. Got it, dude. I feel like Edward knows something's up with uh, Cecil, but he needs to confirm, right? Like, he needs to, he needs to be absolutely sure. I don't like the idea of giving haste to, to my my enemies. I don't know. I feel like I'm so obligated, right, to buy a billion potions because no one knows how to use magic. So I'm just like, okay, I guess we just buy all, every potion that's ever existed. Uh, do I even need that many? I feel like no. I think I'm pretty good. And high potions, of course, for... Um, if we're ever, like, in a battle, um, it's important to have those so that we can restore, like, a large amount of, uh, HP instead of doing the, you know, little, like, oh, like, a little bit there, a little bit there, and all that stuff. Um, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like I need to up on these. I don't know, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm a little bit skittish because no one knows, I mean, I, I cannot stress this enough, nobody knows magic. And that's insane. Like, no one knows magic, so now we gotta, like, we gotta use these, like, consumables to, like, pseudo-magic our way through everything. Like, it's, I don't know. It's not terrible, but it's, it's awkward, to say the least. Uh, please tell me I can sleep in my own castle without pain. Barely. Okay. I can't, I can't sleep in my own castle without pain, though. Waning Moon. I really need to talk to someone that tells me like when monsters are gonna hurt me because I don't want to face like a super dragon. What is King Cecil planning, I wonder? Bigger question, what phase of the moon's gonna get me killed? <laughs> huh, you're leaving us? Yes. 
but long gone. I really like your songs. What about the moon? Can I read uh, her diary when she's with me? Feels like I shouldn't be able to. Ah, your highness. These are somewhat personal materials. Of, of course, my apologies. Dude, I read it. There was nothing in there that actually was like, you know, unless she added to some stuff last night, which she could have. Like, it's... It's not... It's not personal. It's, you know... It's just like, yeah, I'm kind of worried about the whole thing, the fact that the moon returned. So here's why, like, it blows my mind. And I think the way, like, the... I should say the, uh... Oh, you can reach Baron by show. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, the timeline in my mind is messed up. But the moon is essentially a spaceship. The second moon. Because it's what, like... It, it, if I remember, if I remember correctly, I believe a ship in route to Baron is docked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember like uh, Golbez in Fusoya left on the moon, like they left on the second moon, like they, you know, they skedaddled, right? So the equivalent of a second moon showing up is just like a spaceship sitting outside the Earth, and you're like, hopefully it's friendly. Like it's essentially a ship, is what I'm getting at. So I don't know why. Um, Ages ago, the Red Wings stormed our castle, Baron Solar Crystal trying to burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why, like, someone hasn't taken the Lunar Whale and immediately tried to, like, go up to the moon. Damsian has rebuilt itself to become the world's commercial center once again, thanks to your efforts. If Anna were still alive, I'm sure your heir would certainly have been born by now, my lord. Kaipo is in the middle of a desert. Beware of desert fever in your travels. That moon means bad things for all of us. I am sure of it. Dude, he's not wrong. He is not incorrect in his assessments. Well, this is where we part ways. No, my lord. I am going with you. I'm afraid I cannot permit that. I am your secretary, my lord. If you are going to have a diplomatic meeting with the king of Baron... It's my duty to be present. But I am certain that I will prove useful, your highness. Yeah, she will. You know a band with her. Very well. I will make sure not to burden you too much on this trip. My lord? Let's see. Just picking flowers. A small gift for Cecil. You know what? Maybe I'm crazy and I'm going to say some nutty stuff right now. But I wonder if somehow, like, him and Cecil had, like, an agreement to where, like, if he ever, like, gave him deep skin flowers, like... It was like a sign, like he had to say like a secret phrase to say he was still him. I don't know. See, now I'm talking like paranoid. But that, that, doesn't that kind of make sense? Like, because they knew that Mo like everything was awful once and it could happen again. So like he kind of established like a safe word, right? You're like, you know, like he gives him flowers, Cecil says pineapple, and then we know it's really Cecil. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking, I mean, I'm talking nuts, I know. But... I, I think it could be possible. I, I fully believe. I should have explored this area before I uh, went uh, went and proceeded with the plot. Man, what a mistake I made.
I don't know, I kind of want my people to get a little bit weak before I use that band. I gotta, I gotta let the alligator and stuff attack me, I guess. Or something. I do think it was an incredible investment to uh, equip those swords on those guards, though. Like, genuinely, I feel like, um... I feel like it was, what, it was like 1,300 gil, 13, 1,400 gil. And, you know, they're just doing so much more damage. I don't know, even though I know they're gonna go away, like, I, I really, really don't think these guards are gonna be with me till the end of the story. I mean, I guess it's entirely possible, but it feels so unlikely. So, like, I'm okay with the, the loss of the equipment if it means they're effective even for the moment. Especially when, like, they've been... I've had them for a little over an hour, I think, at this point, and they've, they've proven very effective. Arctic wind. Arctic wind. Nice. Antarctic and Arctic. Man. What a varied world we live in. Still need guard B to get low. <laughs> he's he's taking no damage. It doesn't help that we're just like cleaving through these like fights, right? Like we are really delivering us like a hurting on everyone. Are we leveled up? Nice. So you like to see it, man. You love to see it. We'll say, so far the story has not forced us in the, into the antlion den. But, uh, like I said, we're, we're ready if it does. We've, we've gotten all the treasure. You know, we're, we're good, we're good to go. <laughs> One lone alligator. That is, that is a rough life, buddy. Everyone left you. There's, there's no allies in this fight. I mean, maybe he doesn't need him. He's so strong. Okay, now he's dead. I was going to say, he was, he was taking hits and just not even flinching. He was like, you know what? Come, come back when you're going to really try to hurt me. Like, he was really... He's really taking it. Man, guard B, though, still... Still not, uh... Affected. Did I go the wrong way? I might have gone the wrong way here. There's definitely a possibility I got, I got turned around. Oh, we did it! Look at that. Look at that, guys. I just want to let the band happen. Okay, it's gonna happen. Unless this guy is critical. I'm gonna be honest, that was less cool than I thought it would be. That was, I mean, that was okay. How much MP does that take? Harley's actually pretty low, so. It's not super. Band skill leveled up, nice. No, I, no I'm going the right way. I, I forget, because I'm going the opposite way I would normally always go. Because normally I'm going to Damsian, not like from it. So normally I end at the uh, waterfall behind. Um, or like I start at the, you guys know what I mean. Where the giant octopus monster is. That's where I normally end. But in this one, I'm uh, I'm changing it up, man. I was gonna say, he's gotta be low. We, we were just hitting on him constantly. Underground Falls. 
What an interesting bronze tail. Oh no. I can't make my way through this current. <clears throat> I bet you I'm supposed to like collect like a certain amount of bronze tails, but I gotta find them. I don't honestly I I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find them. Like not all of them. I'm gonna find what I can, but like. Can I can I enter the wall? That's what I'm trying to do now. See he walks and he he merges with it, but he doesn't okay, he doesn't enter it. Okay, that's fine. I suppose I can't enter the wall. Yeah, see that's the thing, like adamantite and stuff, it's in a chest. I can understand that. That makes sense to me. But having to um having to like find things that just randomly give you like a notification that like, oh hey, it's something's here. Like that's gonna be really, really challenging. Like, very challenging. Iron sword, that could be good. Harley wield it. Now what does she wield, dude? The feathered cap seems fine. I don't know. It's like the equipment is a little bit weird because I probably could equip some guards and I don't. Do I, am I really that worried about losing the armor if Edward can't wield it? Probably not. Honestly, I should probably just just equip it and call it a day. I also want to double check. Fire, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, it takes 20 MP, so... Yeah, I would say, uh... Harley's a little bit wiped out right now. She has, no, she has like, no MP. Hey, Harley leveled up, though. Good for her, man. We already go down here? I feel like we didn't. Okay, cool. High potion. Nothing. Nothing. Then we get to go back up. I mean, going through every single pathway, it, it will eventually be rewarding, right? Like, it's, it's something where we do it a bunch, and then eventually it's like, oh, we're really strong, you know, and stuff like that. As long as the game doesn't, like, turn on us and, like, make us fight our own allies... Then that's that's pretty promising. I think this is the end of the cave, if I'm correct. I mean, I probably definitely would know if I paid attention to what, like, floor it said we were on. <laughs> but that's just me. Now, let's actually also cheat a little bit. So we are gonna use... By cheat, I mean, use our resources, but... We're gonna use Gnomish Bread, Cast Sight. Oh, I'm dumb. It's, it's only gonna do this one area. I was looking to, like... Look at like floors. What happened? Oh no, what's happening? Uh uh. This is awkward. Yeah, what a weird <laughs> What a weird issue. I feel like my controller might be doing something weird. That was uh a little bit concerning. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I wasn't rapidly opening and exiting the menu uh, intentionally. There didn't seem to be much use for me doing that, actually. Yeah, these zombies are actually pretty tough. Like they're they're hardy zombies. They they got HP and everything. Oh, 
Oh, I should have used Bard Song. That was a mistake. That could have been useful. Edward's level went up. Harley's went up. It's good stuff. She get more MP, which is really nice to see. Because, as I mentioned before, like we can't do the band because she just has no MP now. And that is a, uh, that is a problem. Uh, yeah, we'll Bard Song. Then we'll smack things. Bard Song and smack things. That's the strategy right now. I mean, it's always been the strategy, but it's also the strategy right now. Healing Harmony. It's good because Garde is really low as well as Harley. Okay, that was not very impressive. I mean, at least at least he tried, right? He gave it the old the old effort. I think I'm only gonna try Bard Song once a fight. It feels like when I try it multiple times, it just fails. Which is not what I want to have happen, because that is not very useful, right? Just I just waste an action. Edward does nothing, and then we move on with life. So I'm going to break the rules a little bit. I think this just goes all the way down to... Where does this go, actually? Does it go over there? I was gonna say I need to figure out how to get like over here, and I was gonna say I think it's there. I think I think I think we're doing doing the right thing. red and angry and hasty. I'm gonna say I think this fight's pretty much over. There's no there's no need for like, you know like bonuses on our team. Anything that isn't gonna carry over later on, like health, is uh, not very useful. Thousand gill, nice. The worth, man. The worth. So much value there. To be honest, at this point, a thousand guild, not very great. Um, if there's some secret use for guild that I'm not aware of, and I find it, then like maybe it'll be good, but... As of now, very meh. Come on, Edward. Sing those sweet tunes. Sing those groovy tunes. Come on, buddy. Uh, oh. Oh, light. Oh, this is the good one, right? This has like 100 HP. It's crazy. Okay, I mean, not 100, but a lot more than 10. Whatever we cast last time increased by like our HP by like 10, and that was not very useful. I mean, I guess 50, because like it's the whole party, but still. You know what I mean? It's it still doesn't count like to for very much. up I forgot to do the bard song now guard a is about to die this is tragedy this is tragedy defined no oh exactly enough to kill him and then the healing harmony for insult come on okay well I wouldn't help too much I guess yeah I probably shouldn't finish first See, now he's going to be off-center with all the other guards. 
He's gonna Garde is now, was I called Garde my favorite, but now, now he's my most useless. That's so lame. I mean by a hair, but still. It's enough. It's enough to make me despise him. Where does this go then? This just goes up, right? I think that's, yeah, I mean, that's just a secret shortcut to go up there. It, it's not really that useful, honestly. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe in, like, very niche situations. Like, someone's like, we gotta speed run this game. Like, it, someone's really trying to do something specific, but it feels like that, that is not very useful. Yeah, I probably could bard song. I was thinking about not doing it because I kind of already like, you know, used a bunch of potions. It seems it seems almost futile at that point. Like, come on, it doesn't really matter. But you know, it's it's every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. As we saw with Guard A, he got had 83 HP and then was dealt exactly 83 damage. Yeah. Come to think of it, I don't know if damage can exceed the amount of HP you have remaining. So maybe he was dealt extra and they just like called it like 83 because they're like, come on, you only got 83 left. So that's how much you get dealt. Like I haven't really paid that much attention to it. So it's, it's entire, it's, it's possible that like he was dealt more, but it just said 83 because that's what he had. I'll have to pay attention to that. It's not often we have our party members going down. Thankfully. I mean, that's a good thing. Alright, Zeus's Wrath, Heavenly Wrath. We're getting all the Wrath. Spirit is resilient. He does not want to go down for anything. Guard A leveled up. Just, just a little bit behind everyone else. Don't mind him. Oh, we gotta fight more. More of these dang fishes. Yeah, honestly, it's not that hard. I mean, this is actually valuable for like leveling up and fighting other things. But it is certainly repetitive in addition to that. This is the real maze. Look at all this stuff. Wait. I was gonna say, I haven't been here yet, have I? I mean, I, I clearly have been here many times, but not, not with Edward. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the nature of the game though, right? Being episodic and in the same map. It's just, I've, I've definitely been here. Just not, uh, not to my recollection. Although I've been there. <laughs> There it is, whipping the alligators, teaching them what's what. That's what that's what our party does. See, now I feel obligated to like go towards every corner, even though there's nothing there, just to see if there's like a bronze tail in hiding. I don't know. Maybe I haven't been paying attention. Maybe it's like a certain rock formation, like that shows up that is like, oh, there's a bronze tail. Like it's, you know, it might not be as elusive as I'm talking about.
That'll confuse him. He doesn't know which way's up. Now he's dead now. Harley leveled up, nice. High potion. Nice. See, it's all nice. It's all good stuff. Our oh, preemptive strike is actually really valuable. You know what I realized? I never even checked what Harley's ability is. I really need to do that because it could actually be useful. I've, I've been messing up this whole time. Sight. Sure, what does that do? I don't know what that did. I'm 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 at a I'm baffled by what that could possibly do. I, I should jump in the menu and actually see what it does so I might because it might be useful. I mean not to not to be silly, but some of these abilities might be useful. Uh what is it status? Gosh, how do I even check abilities? Uh, remove magic effects and set a weak point. Like, set a weak magic? Cause damage by throwing. Okay. What? I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what a weak point is. It's That's very, very loose terminology. What's the matter? N nothing N nothing at all my lord your color does not look so well I am just a bit tired that's all there's no need to overwork yourself we'll turn back no I just need a moment's rest that will more than suffice Let's make camp here for now. Oh, it's it's even gonna give me the... Did it use one of my tents? Feeling better? Yes, my lord. We will arrive in Kaipo shortly. Just hold on a little longer. Yeah, they, they gave me a free... A free tent. That's very nice of them. I was going to use it anyways, but you know. Mostly because I need that band available in a boss fight. Because I think that could be useful. I don't know, restoring 300 HP across the whole party seems pretty... I don't know, it seems like there could be value there. I'm not being sarcastic. Like, there is an argument for it not being that valuable. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I know that I know that also sounds insane, but um, I think it's valuable. But I could see the argument for it not being valuable. And then we just attack. I mean, there's there's no real reason to bard song here. I mean, we can, but like, let's just wait. Like, it's fine. skill leveled up feast of the land and now we got a new moon I don't know if fancy monsters appear in this area but I very much hope they do not if they do then this is gonna be a messy messy traversal tra traversal something like that of the uh, of this dungeon
There it is. It's all over for him now. Yeah, as I say, apart from that, I think we're... We already traversed down this, right? We've already gone down this pathway, I think. Let's double check. Doesn't hurt to be sure. Down we go. Where we stop? I don't remember. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna rhyme here. Life's Anthem, dude, you love to see it. You love to see the HP. That is actually really effective. Like, genuinely, that's a good, some good stuff. I know, I know we're not done with the chapter yet, but, um... Even now, I'm like looking at the time, it's 6 o'clock right now, and I'm like, do I want to do another one? Do I want to, want because I was doing like the back-to-back -back playthroughs, so after this one would be Kane's, of course. I'm not sure if I want to do another one. And I'm such an old man. I got up at like 4.30 this morning, so like I'm, I'm like, this is, that, that's not when I normally get up. That's so why I'm kind of tired. I try to get up really early on the weekends, just because, um sounds dumb but I feel like more productive early on in the morning like I don't like I, I hate 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 the feeling of waking up at like noon and I feel like the whole day is like wasted and stuff and I don't know I don't know if this is like says something about me but I like going out for like a drive like getting some coffee at like like five in the morning like let me tell you there is I live in a you know a pretty big place so like there's nothing like just no one on the road just like not as like there's like four people you and four like, it's so nice like that's I I hate the um I hate the weekend traffic where you got like you know 15 cars at the stoplight and you're like come on like this is just so many people you know feel like a little dictator you're like get off my road and you're like oh, technically it's everyone's but you know <laughs> like I try to I try to avoid all that you know hustle and bustle in the middle of the day it's just not a good time right like traffic and everything see this is the most adult conversation <laughs> that's how I realize I'm becoming like a boring old man so I'm just like let me tell you what really grinds my gears traffic <laughs> all these people driving come on you know, no, I adjust my I, I adjust my schedule for that. See, that's the thing though. Like, I don't mind people. Like, I feel like I'm pretty social, but like, I the driving, just the on the road, it's just like, oh my gosh, you know. How do we enter there? I assume it's just the bridge. Yep. <laughs> I was like, hey, that makes sense. Ether. Love to see it.
There it is. I don't know, we, we, so here's the thing though, like, not to bring this up again, but we, we found these like bronze tails and now I'm not sure, I'm not sure like if that was just a fluke or how many there are, cause we've only found two. And, and this is like the kind of collectible that reeks of like having like 20, right? You know? I feel like so dumb because Coco or I was like, oh, there's probably about like, you know, like, I don't know, like 10. And then there was 20 of them and I like, I'd only gotten like 40%. Like I thought I was so cool. I was like, oh, I found all the cocoa ore, and I was like, no, you didn't, buddy. Like, I was, I was very mistaken on the amount I found. Like, I had found significantly less. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Yeah, I've got, what, three of them now? How cool for me. I hope they don't just make bronze armor, because that's... That's kind of whack, I'm going to be honest. That's not nearly as... Is there a kid here? Why is there a kid here? Okay, we got to go talk to Mr. I like to travel into dangerous areas. Oh, wait a second. I wonder if he's going to tell us Baron's in trouble. I wonder if he's gonna be like, I had to flee Baron because it is whack there, you know? And that might be like, so here's my thought process and maybe I'm crazy. Like, I feel like Edward at some point is gonna get a heads up that Baron's in trouble. You know, I don't know if he's gonna enter the castle. Does he enter the castle? I don't remember him doing that in any other chapters. So maybe I just didn't see it or maybe like, I don't remember right because that's possible, but it feels like I don't know. I feel like if Edward was in, or if uh, if Baron was in trouble or Cecil was in trouble, Edward would still go, right? Like it, it feels like he'd still enter for no reason. I mean, I mean for a reason, but a dumb reason, you know. I don't know. That that's just my that's just my thought process. So I'm curious. I'm curious if that's what's gonna happen here. Promising. I think we just go down here because there is a child that we need to converse with. See, I'm down for it, man. But this is this is getting exciting. I'm really curious about Kane's tale, and then also. Like, I, I don't even know what to expect out of the other tales, honestly. Because, to this point, we haven't really learned that much about the girl, right? Like, we haven't really learned what's going on. Like, eventually that will be opened up to us, but this is, um... This is unique in that, like, we've played, like... Like, 15, 16, 17 hours, and we, I mean, we've seen a lot of stuff, but we haven't... We don't know what's going on. Like, it's... It's still very confusing. If I'm gonna give you guys my theory right now, the girl came, the girl came from the moon, or so basically, so uh, Fusoya and Golbez left on the moon. Everything's happy. The Lunarians on the moon woke up, took control of the ship, and said, we're heading back. And then the girl was the leader of everyone, and, uh, Wait, no, no, she's not the leader. She's a henchman. She's a henchman. And, um, like, she, she, uh, she needs to gather the crystals for her master. And they're going to use it to destroy humanity because humanity's a weaker species. They're going to reclaim the earth, maybe? I don't know. That's my running theory, which is not very strong. I don't think the girl's the big bad 
bad guy though. I don't think she's like the oh like you're the you're the real threat. Like I I know she's strong, but I don't think she's like final boss. Maybe she is. I don't know. Hey there, I'm a collector and I love to collect rare tales. Oh gosh. I don't have enough tails. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's a hard economy. Okay, if, apparently it wasn't a kid. It was just a dude who loves tails. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how this all plays out. As, as dumb as it sounds, that's like my favorite part about like a lot of these like playthroughs, like playing all these new Final Fantasy games where I generally know what's going to happen because I've, I've been around for a bit, but there's definitely a lot of plot points I don't know um, and stuff like that, so it's just kind of refreshing. I, I play a lot of like, um, I play a lot of the same games, like I replay a lot of games, then I also in addition play games that aren't really like, uh, they're not, they're not like story-based games, right? You know, stuff like that, you know. I think we're pretty good for time too, actually. Uh, Cause what, it's two hours in. I think we've got like probably until three hours. I was kind of double checking the hard drive to see when we have to stop. I think I can get it all in one recording, but I guess it really depends on uh, how long this takes, the, the story-wise. Because like I said before, I am very, very slow. I do not, I do not like hurry up when it comes to this. So, yeah. We should probably just, do, is there any, I don't think there's anywhere else in this desert we could really go that isn't Kaipo. I think Kaipo is really like the only place we can actually traverse to because of the whole like events of the first game with Rydia and everything and you know, Gaia being called forth, the passageway kind of got messed up. Whole mounds were formed, you know how it is. You know how it is when gods get summoned, right? You remember. All right, let's see. I just, there's just a part of me that's like always, oh, I guess it's also here. Let's not, let's not go, let's, let's stop at the actual town of Kaipo because it would be a huge waste to skip it. Although I'm sure it's possible. I, I, I'm fully aware that it's probably likely we could skip it. Or maybe we can't. This looks like a cutscene. I mean, this is where, uh, where Tella and Anna's graves are. I mean, you know, Edward's got to visit them, right? He's got to see what's up. Harley? Uh, she got desert fever. Harley. Your, your highness. That's desert fever. No doubt about it. Happens to people on long journeys all the time. First they get fatigued. Then the fever hits the second they set foot on sand. Then we must get a sand pearl. Oh, you know about those. I've only heard about them from my grandfather's old tales. There's a monster known as an antlion that lives in a cave near Mount Hobbs. Supposedly you can get sand pearls when it lays eggs. I've also heard that antlions only lay eggs during a full moon. Oh, could we have gotten those before? I'll leave right now to bring one back. Would you be able to watch her until then? Of course, but you better give up on the idea of leaving today. Get some rest first. We can't have you getting sick too. That's true. Anna, Tella, it's been quite a while, hasn't it?
Anna. Anna, why must you be so sad? Anna! What are you trying to tell me, Anna? Can't even tell that, you spoony bard. Tell her. Anna wants you to live, Edward. What? What do you mean? I'm as, as alive as I'm as alive as I've ever been. <laughs> Take a good hard look at yourself, and then tell me whether that's really true. What? You know what to do. Tell her. What could I be missing? Nice. Mmm. That seems like a good response. <laughs> the fever is getting worse. We need that sand pearl as soon as possible. I will get it no matter what it takes. Keep an eye on her for me, please. Hi, Ness. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Don't be ridiculous. Just stay in bed for me. I'll bring back the medicine you need. This wouldn't have happened if I hadn't forced you to take me. Enough talking. You need to conserve your strength. Please, be careful. Harley! The ant lion's den is east of Dampsey and Castle. I know. I was there. You are traveling to the ant lion's den, yes? Yes. Let us accompany you, your highness. No. Do That's insane. I need you to stay here with Harley. But my lord, please, I'll be all right. Yes, your highness. Dude, honestly, this is insanity. Like, he, he needs to take the guards with him. This is my own problem, one that I'll fix myself. Dude, Edward, you're dumb. You are dumb. You are dumb. You're dumb. But they're not, they're not doctors. Please be careful. Leave Harley to us, my lord. Dude, this this man is... Ah, mm. She appears to have fainted. She's got to stop pushing herself with that fever of hers. You know, I feel like something like this happened years ago. Come to think of it, you do look awfully familiar. Now, just in case you guys are curious how smart Edward is. No, he's, he's not. That is just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Um, a new ship route's opened up at the Eastern Port. We received travelers from around the world thanks to that. Found a potion. Now I'm just looking for those tails because apparently I need five of them. I don't know. I really don't like this decision not to bring guards. It feels like it's so much quicker with them. Uh, yeah, I'll take a dark heart. The fact that it, it can inflict blind is just incredibly useful. Can he have two harps? <laughs> he doesn't have that many hands. He need four. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's figure out what we're gonna do now that Edward's being a silly goose. I mean, the fight it's not gonna be hard, but it's gonna be annoying. Welcome to Kaipo, Oasis Town of the Damsian Desert. Thanks, buddy. The underground waterway to the northeast connects us to Damsian. Lately, though, there's been word about bandits striking at merchants passing through here. Tella and Anna would be alive today if it weren't for all the chaos at that time. Thanks for the reassurance. Uh, 
The higher your level, the more money you'll use up with the Gil Toss command. Oh, interesting. That is actually genuinely interesting. I because other games, the Gil Toss and stuff is like it's it's dictated by just like how much Chris's Gil earned by Oh no wonder I'm so rich. That's insane. But, um, in other ones, like, you can just, uh, like, toss whatever you want. He doesn't have guild toss, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay. I just had to be sure, because he started mentioning guild toss, and I'm like, I mean, I know, I know Harley has it, but I didn't think I did. Sage Tella? Yes, even today, I still find it hard to believe that he's gone. Uh, that's all good. Yeah, we'll probably want some of these bad boys. No good being silenced. I guess I could just, like, cheese through with items. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just really ruin this game. Um... I'm gonna do the gill band, because I might need money. So I'm gonna be cheesing through items, like I said, so. The phrase the face of the moon changes whenever you rest at an inn or use a tent or cottage. Nice. Been through the desert, quench your thirst with Kaipo's premium drinks. The ant lion doesn't lay eggs until there's a full moon. Isn't that romantic? Gah! The drink here is the best in the whole world. Why can King Edward still not let go of the memory of Anna? Oh, oh, I apologize, my lord. Yeah, you better. Found a bronze tail. That's pretty, pretty spicy if I do say so myself. I need one more to get a silver tail. Not sure what I can do use them for, but you know. I think I think I actually do know. I think I think Brian had mentioned something about him, but I need to reference that back. Anna. Tella. You don't have anything more to say, buddy? Alright, let's go. Let us... Let us depart. They say the most beautiful girl from Damsey and collapsed here in Kaipo once. From Damsey? I'm confused. Alright. Begin the cheese. Okay, this might actually not be very useful. I mean, that was a very, very low amount of damage. That was not very impressive in the slightest. All right, well, let's head all the way back. Let's go. Let's skedaddle. At least we know uh, where we're going, right? Like, we don't have to go down all the, all the secret hidden passageways. I guess arguably we could for these tales, but Honestly, I've been burned once. I'll, I will be burned again. Like, I I don't trust anyone collecting anything after naming way did me dirty. I just can't. I just can't trust another soul. Maybe... Okay, maybe I'm crazy. I think maybe I just attack. I don't know. So here's my thought process. If I'm going to do, like, 20 damage with the items I buy, then, like, what's the point, right? Like, I'm going to do 100 individually, so... It might not be incredibly effective to uh, to do that kind of a strategy. And this is where it becomes a problem though, because normally I use Edward as like a backup dude. Like he is, he only exists to hold a party up, but now he's like this main like, you know, my solo dude. And I guess he's gonna get a buttload of experience doing this, but still it feels, uh, it feels risky at the very, I mean at the very least. Uh, that being said, we don't, we don't need them the gill. We just need we just need to survive. Like that really is mission number one at this point. So we're not gonna we're not gonna get fancy and cute with the whole like gill or with the whole like, you know, 
yeah, the whole like gill and like oh getting random stuff. We're just gonna we're going for the throat, going for the win, all that stuff. Critical. That is a problem. Nice. More experience. So that's good stuff. We will continue our trek onward. Not that way. That is that is by definition not onward. Oh no, I just made a noise. I was like, what is going on? I was like, do I just heal by standing on places now? I mean, I'll take it, but that is not normally how that works. it through man we're making it through I just gotta find an antlion when we get there no big deal easy easy stuff You know, I said we had like a, a stopping point at the three hour mark. I think we could probably go till four hours. See, I still haven't like corrected the issue where like I don't have enough space for the videos. Because they take up so much, so I like I run out of space and then the video like is permanently lost. Like if it runs out of space. Like it doesn't save correctly. Then life is terrible. So I, I think we're doing good. Like it's. It's used about 70 gigs, and I got about 80 left, and, uh, you know, we're, we're at the two-hour mark, so I think we're good. I don't I don't think this journey is going to be very long. I think we probably got another about, like, 50 minutes before we're done, uh, specifically because of the Let's Play, um, or at least, like, the... I mean, I didn't watch it, but, like, I saw the time frame of, like, how long it took someone else, and I think, I think we're good. I mean, maybe. You never really know, because they could have been just like really, really nose to the grindstone kind of thing, and I'm I'm very much not. Like, they could have been really crazy. They could have, they might they might have gotten the ant lion den egg before they went to you know, Kaipo. Like I imagine, I feel like that could be possible. Maybe. It just depends on if the game lets you, right? Like if it says like, nah, man, like you, it's too dangerous or something. Because it could also be like that kind of a situation. Um, I gotta use a high potion. I'm 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 near death, and and dying right now would be super disappointing. So we don't want that to happen. That being said, this does not bode well for my <laughs> my ant lion adventures. A little bit concerned. I mean, I don't like the idea of having a single party member in general anyways, but this is just kind of... I don't know, it's how it kind of shook out, right? I think inflicting blind on the ant line is probably going to be good if I can do that, but I, I don't even know if it's going to have any real effect. I mean, we'll find out when we get there. No level ups yet, either. Oh, waxing moon. Cool. Which means... 
we are going to be able to uh, go to the full moon either by traveling to uh, the antlion's den or just by naturally um, or not by naturally but or by using like a tent or something I mean I've certainly got enough tents to trigger all sorts of moon phases that is for sure Dang. I was actually just thinking as I had this fight, I should probably heal actually. <laughs> like, I forgot to do that. I'm gonna get real cute with it too. I'm gonna blind the alligator first, because that's what you gotta do. Kill the fish boy. And then do a dance. I'm hopeful I can recover some HP. Oh, that's uh, so dumb. That's not useful. All right, kill the alligator, Edward. You've 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 embarrassed yourself enough for the day. That is so annoying. a trek back right I feel like so here's my thought process and maybe I'm crazy I feel like what's gonna happen is we're gonna trek back the antlions den we're gonna get the egg we're gonna trek all the way back to help uh, help Harley out then we're going to board the ship and then the chapter is gonna end after that maybe I don't know, maybe that's wrong. That seems early. Maybe we do get to Cecil, and then, like, we leave? I'm trying to think, because didn't we see Edward in, um... We saw him specifically in Edge's story? Or Yang's? I forget. Like, I forget if he was going to Baron or coming from Baron. I think he was going to Baron. Then Yang's ship broke down, and then they had no contact. <laughs> which was odd. Which was very odd. I mean, I would even argue it's a little bit rude. Wait, did they say it was west of Damsian? Is my camera orientation then just like facing south? Is that is that how that works? Obviously not where I want to go. I want to go here. Ah, goblins. comes the bard song. Please be a healing thing. Oh. Oh, that is so good. That is the best one that could have possibly happened. Dude, you love to see it. You love to see it. Edward's level one up too. Dude, good for him, man. He's strong. He's he's killing it. Well, here I am, the antlion's den. Somewhere deep in this cave, the antlion should be begin laying its eggs when the full when the moon is full. Let's 
Let's do it. Maybe I'm being overly ambitious, but um, I, I know it's not the full moon yet, but I think it's gonna become the full moon as I, tra as I travel through. Maybe. If it doesn't, then it's very awkward. I mean, I guess there's also like a save point so I can just make it the full moon if I need to. But it's it's the uh, waxing moon right now. So it's it's becoming the full moon. All right, we're gonna, this is what we prepped for. Where's the Zeus's Wraths? Where's my Wrath? Yeah, that'll teach him. Ooh, that was really strong. Does Edward do any sort of damage? That isn't one. Actually, I'm curious. I feel like he only does one damage. Yep, there, there's the, the one damage. I, I will say as much, too. Uh, inflicting Blind on these guys, probably not going to really hurt them. Fact that they can just counter by casting magic all all sorts of places is gonna be an issue. Alright, I just need to find a safe point. That is not a safe point. That is a room with a chest. There's still a part of me that wants to see if there's like a bronze tail somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I wanna I'm at four right now. Like I'm one away from, from a full silver tail. It's uh It's exciting that I could possibly get a silver tail. I don't know what it's for, but I can get it. I can do it. All these random encounters aren't necessarily bad because Edward gets so much more experience as an individual person. Uh, he he could just start leveling up like crazy, which you know there's there is certain value there, right? That was oh, quite a bit of experience ahead in here. I mean, we're pretty low right now, but you know, you know how it be. We'll do two potions. I'm not concerned about the value of the potions in terms of like money, so much as I'm concerned about not having um, enough when I need them. Full moon it is. See, that's good stuff. Then we can save here. Physical attacks are off the menu, apparently. It lands in B1. It's not too bad. Now we gotta fight the Adamantois. Again, also not too bad. Oh, he's actually pretty tough now. I don't know, Edward's kind of got a pool of HP here. Like, he's he's looking pretty promising. Like, that's the thing, though. I don't think he's... I don't think he's overpowered or anything. I, I think he's just adequately powered. You know what I mean? Like, he's not... He's not gonna tear down houses, but... He's, you know, he might... He might kick down a... I don't know where I'm going with this analogy. Uh, kick down a tent? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? That's sort of a place of residence, a tent. <laughs> you know, it's a... I mean, you think about it, right? Like, you you know, you go camping, so technically it's your residence when you go camping. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. Oh, we're already here. Oh, man, I'm ready to fight some people out of their home. Let's do it. What?
Perfect. Now back to Harley at once. Wait, are we not... Wait, is that it? We're not gonna fight him? I thought they'd fight us for it. Did they fight us last time? I could have sworn in the last game they fought us. I could have sworn they're like, hey, buddy, you leave my pearls alone. I don't. <laughs> it's gonna be so dumb. I don't know why, but I said you leave my pearls alone, and I was like, I should watch Pirates of the Caribbean tonight. I should be. <laughs> I think it's that, that, that loose connection with the Black Pearl. I don't know. I, I, I like that movie, actually. It's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what they're actually on right now. I watched, like, the, the first three of those movies, and then, like, I think... I honestly, aren't they on like movie like seven or something? It's like crazy. They, they like move, move like, I, I don't know, I thought it was good for a few movies and then I was like, all right, it's over. Like, it's fine. I don't want to, I don't want you know, I, I, I feel like I caught the strong wave and I don't want to like watch some withering mess of like, you know, we got to keep this thing going. We got to keep this thing going, you know, and I think there's value if there's a story to be told, but you know, if it's just because, you know, you gotta, you gotta like. You, you think it's gonna make money until you make another one like it's it's hard to justify I think that's actually a rut video games fall into a lot right like it's it's like well we made another one because it made us more money but the story like wasn't there there's definitely a uh, a few instances of that. Not to, not to call out any franchises, but isn't Halo in kind of a bad spot right now in terms of, in terms of story? I mean, in terms of gameplay, they're probably doing great, but it feels like um, they, uh, I don't know, like it's, like what is the, what is going on? That could, honestly, that that point, that could have been a, a, on my end, like pure just misunderstanding. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, I think, is the same way though. Um, I feel like they got this, like, weird problem where, like, you, not to, not to dive into Kingdom Hearts on a Final Fantasy video, but, like, you got the Heartless or whatever, and then you got the Nobodies, and then apparently you got some other thing, like, like, they gotta, like, keep on reinventing new, like, bad guys that aren't even, like, that are not part of the same group, so, so all of a sudden you got, like, seven bad guys, which is, like, whatever, like, it happens, but... Now I've got a question, like, if all these people had such deep motivations, then, like, where were they in the first game? Like, now they're just conveniently here? Hmm. My, my, my. This is a rare visitor, isn't it? Is this a, an Eidolon? What is he doing? Who would have expected a rich nobleman coming through here? Why are they dressed as Eidolons? Please. Sorry, gentlemen, but I don't have anything you'd be interested in. You liar. What about that shiny thing in your hand? That must be worth a mound of gold in the marketplace. Wait. This is desert fever medicine. It would serve you no purpose. Ah. So it is something valuable. Valuable enough to give up your life for it? I said it was medicine, yeah. Oh, great. I didn't do anything, he just jumped right in. We on a new map or something? Don't tell me I lost the sand pearl. Oof. That's a popular phrase now. Where am I? The waterfall must have sent me all the way here. 
The exit's straight ahead. I hope you're still hanging on, Harley. Oh, well, that was a... That was a very convenient way to put me where the game wanted me to be. I'll say that much. I, they didn't, they, it wasn't too bad though. Like they, they kind of foreshadowed it when they said like bandits, like, I don't think that was a bad way to go about it. If they wanted to like, give me a shortcut. Honestly, I would, I would hazard say that's probably actually one of the best ways to do it. There's, there's far worse ways to, to implement something like that. I don't know, it's Final Fantasy, you kind of have a wide, wide array of opportunities to implement all sorts of things, you know? Like, you don't have to, you don't have to live by any sense of reality, um, in the game, right? Like, you'd be like, oh, it's magic, right? Like, it's, it's not like, you know, it's not like based in Las Vegas. Like, you don't need to, you don't need to be like, this specifically, hey, you scientifically did this thing. So there's, there's that benefit. Spirits are tough. They don't want to go down for anything. See, I almost want to use like one of those items that I have like to cast a spell, but it feels very much not worth it, right? Like it feels feels like I could heal one of these spirits accidentally since I don't remember their exact weaknesses. I think Blizzard is always a safe bet, but you know, I could be wrong on that. And since I was already whittling down on their HP, it felt like a, a really poor decision to, to just go for it, right? To just be like, I'm sure this will be fine, and then see if it's fine. <laughs> Jump first, ask questions later. Dude, this fish can't hit for anything. Probably helps that I blinded it, but you know. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Alright, so I think I have enough bronze tails to get a silver tail. I imagine I'm missing a million tails, but, you know, that's just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I forgot to look up a phrase. Oh, up the wazoo. <laughs> I, was gonna, I, ma I made that reference in, like, a Blitzball video, and then I was like, what, what does that even mean, up the wazoo? Like, what is a wazoo? Is that a Dr. Seuss thing? Ooh, that's critical. He would have died to a regular hit, but that one's critical. Hey there, buddy. I don't want any. I want to see anyone cry around me any longer. That's why I collect tails nowadays. It's easier. What? Is someone crying around him in the last game that I don't? Just, I just don't recall. I don't actually remember. Ah, we almost got there. Now we gotta face some worms. I mean, this is this is a terrifying situation if you're... And they're so weak, but like, to think to be in this situation facing these kind of things, it's just wild. They died to the power of Funk, though. It didn't tell me I oh this is wrong this is the wrong area. It didn't tell me I lost the pearl, so I imagine it's still on my person. Be really crummy if it wasn't. It also would like be incredibly detrimental to the like to give me another fetch quest. It'd be super not in, it wouldn't be engaging. You've got the sand pearl. Quickly shine its light on her. Harley. Harley is exposed to the light of the sand pearl. Oh.
Your Highness, Harley, thank goodness I made it in time. My deepest apologies. This is all my fault. No, Harley, you did nothing wrong. Your Highness. Oh my gosh, now he's got desert fever. Please tell me it isn't a desert fever. No. Your Highness, you're awake. Luckily, this doesn't look like a case of desert fever to me. Thank God. Uh, now it's my turn, is it? I apologize for worrying you. You've gone halfway around the world for me, my lord. Why did you put yourself through this? You're the one who's pushing yourself too hard here, my lady. You've just recovered from illness yourself, and yet here you are, standing up all night by his side. What? You promised me you wouldn't tell him. Harley, you didn't have to do that. Of, of course I did. You brought me the sand pearl, and it, it's, it's my duty as your secretary, my lord. Thank you, Harley. So I think they're setting up him getting with Harley, I guess. You folks are headed for Baron, aren't you? The ship should be departing pretty soon. You all right? You sure you're fully recovered and everything? Yeah, because they had the whole, like, Tella being like, live your life, and, you know, they're doing that, you know, all that stuff. So now Edward is a Superman. Okay, cool. Did anyone else level up? No, they're just all the same level. Okay. Is it east? She don't remember. I think it's, I think it's east. I mean, we should, honestly, we should be fine. Like, I I think our, our party at this point is just going to crush anything that goes against us. Oh, that, that worm is done for. I'm just curious if there's, like, bronze tails here. So if there is, that's kind of awkward. You'd have to go... Well, I guess you wouldn't have to go that far back, actually. It wouldn't be a big deal. I don't think there is. All right, let's... Bo Dude, this captain's going everywhere. You want to go to Baron? Well, you've just made it with seconds to spare. All set to go? Yes. What if I say no? Is he going to just, like, leave? This guy has just got seven, seven twin brothers. Off we go, then. Raise anchor, man. Aye, aye, sir. How are you feeling? Just fine, my lord. But what about you? I could hardly feel healthier right now. Indeed, healthier than I've been in many years. Sir. Oh, sorry. Just reminiscing about the past a little. I see. Is something the matter? Your Highness? What do you think about that moon? Oh, I read the diary. <laughs> I know you're worried. Is that really the same moon? That same moon from before? The Lunarians. Gobez. The man in black, the one who once took Baron hostage and used it to take the crystals. In the end, he left the planet along with his moon. You know about that? So it is true. I simply conducted a little research of my own. How much more do you know? 
I know of certain theories regarding tr magic and airships, claiming that they were gifts from the moon, not discoveries made by people here. Impressive. With this moon, it looks different to my eyes. It's not the same one as before, not the one I remember seeing in the past. I must agree. Oh, well, that's interesting. That is interesting. Hey, it's Yang. Captain, Fabulian ship off our port side. Now we're going to find out why Edward ditched him. Haha, <laughs> let's show him what we've got, my lads. Aye, aye, sir. Fabul. Is that Yang? The king of Fabul? Yes, you cannot find a stronger or gentler monarch, nor one half so brave. King of Fabul. Yang Fang Liden. Edward, are you sailing for Baron as well? Yes, that's right. Their destination is the same as ours. Indeed, Fabu has picked up on the same signs we have, no doubt. Ah, what a shot of confidence, knowing that he's on our side. So something must be afoot in Baron after all. I mean, that's certainly a bunch of confidence. And look at this. Their, their engine blows out, and then they completely ditch him. Like, absolute dummies. My lord, Master Yang's ship is falling behind. What happened to them? Could there be some trouble on board? What's wrong, my lord? Are you cold? No, I'm alright. You, you gotta stop. You gotta stop for Yang. I think you have to. The reason I think you gotta stop is, you know, that whole united you're stronger idea. I wonder what happened to that Fabulian ship. I think it encountered a whirlpool that might have been a monster. Um, but that's just my guess. Uh, we've been seeing Baron's Red Wings flying all around the world lately. Yeah, they really like to fly. This ship's bound for Kaipo. You getting on? Now, if there's, uh, if there's bronze tails here, it's obnoxious. Now, I'm just, like, purely curious at this point. Kaipo's too hot for me. Give me Baron's cooler weather any day. I don't see any. Let's go. Let's go to the town first. See how everyone's doing. Welcome to the town of Baron. Well, hey. I was thinking about visiting Mist, you know. But the cave's been closed off by Baronian soldiers, and they refuse to let me through. Interesting. Let's talk to Sid's, uh, family. I'm really starting to get worried. I tried visiting the castle, but they weren't too welcoming. King Edward! My, what a long time it's been. My father hasn't returned from the castle. I hope he's just tinkering with his airship the way he always does. I hope he is, too. Granddad sure is late. Yeah, I think the action's really gonna pick up in uh, whatever the tale after Kane's is. I think Kane's will be in illuminating, if you will, but I don't think it's gonna be action-packed. Not yet. I don't. I don't. I guess maybe it is. I, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm wrong. But it feels like it's probably not gonna be too crazy. Have you seen Sid, the airship engineer? His daughter's worried about him. Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen his daughter. I've heard some disquieting rumors, but my trust remains with Cecil. I don't know about that. You gotta... You gotta, you gotta always believe, man. Evil's in the world. Especially this world. My son's a soldier. He hasn't been back home in ages. I wonder what's going on. Nothing good. Hey, could you move? 
Can't you see I'm sunbathing here? Oh, there is bronze tails here. Okay, so so they they would expect us to go back to talk to Mr. Tailman. Okay. I mean, honestly, that's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst request. Oops, I need to... Need to I'm like, just let me out, man. Just let me out. I'm just trying to flee. Trying to escape. Whatever you want. Whatever terminology you want to use. So we're actually going to go to the item shop here just to just to spruce up on our uh, potions and such. I mean, you guys know we don't have a we don't have like a wide array of anything, right? Like we don't have just like a bunch of I mean, really anything. Now I think about it, like we we just gotta you know just gotta make do with what we what we can get. Really, the biggest hurdle is is the MP or magic. Like we don't have any magic abilities besides like our band and stuff, which is not you know. It's not strictly a magic ability, per se. But it uses MP, and it recovers HP. So, I mean, that's pretty much our qualifications. I can finally sit in whatever seat I want now that Baronian soldiers are gone. This wine is the whole reason I came to Baron in the first place. I haven't seen Queen Rosa at all lately. Come to think of it, Prince Theodore seems to have disappeared, too. A whole army of monsters stormed Baron Castle a little while back. It all worked itself out in the end, though. Thanks to King Cecil's effort. We hardly ever get any soldiers here in the pub anymore. Guess they're all busy or something. A very ominous turn of events, if you ask me. We got a cross, echo herbs, and gold needle. What does cross do? Normally that removes like zombie and stuff. Oh, it's curse. Okay. That makes sense. I don't know what curse does, but I don't like it. I don't like being cursed. Is there any other, like... I'm trying to think if there's any areas here that I can enter. Baron, who goes there? How rude of you! You fail to recognize King Edward, ruler of Damsian? Baron what? I am here to see King Cecil. May we pass. We wish to speak with his majesty personally to discuss the reply we received from his messenger. Baron. Why did they say Baron before everything? Baron. Very well. You may proceed. this. I don't like this at all. Uh. 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 This is like, this is, look at this. Be, imagine me and Edward in this scenario. This is the creepiest thing to ever encounter. Like this, this smells like a trap. All of these things are monsters and they're gonna hurt us. That's my theory. It'd be, be wild if one of these had dialogue. <laughs> Just like the third one in the last room or something. Oh my gosh, I don't trust this at all. I don't trust this at all. It has been long since we last met Cecil. It certainly has, Edward. Quite a long time indeed. Is something bothering you, Edward? You can take it easy here. I... I appreciate your kindness. Come now, Edward. To what do I owe the honor of a visit from the King of Damsian? I have come to speak of the meteor. If that is why you are here... And the answer is the same as the one my emissary gave you. You have nothing to worry about. Please let Baron handle the matter. 
and why should Baron handle it? Do we have a trust issue here, Edward? Of course not. Superb. I'm so glad you understand, Edward. I knew I could count on that. He didn't say that. He said we don't have a trust issue. Not that you could do it. Something the matter? What are your thoughts on that moon, Cecil? What do you think about it? I believe it portends ill times ahead for all of us. It reminds me too much of a past events that haunt us to this day. Hmm. All the more reason, then, that I hope you will allow us to handle the matters concerning the fallen meteor. I see. Baron has a mandate to govern over this land to keep it at peace. Of course, but if you ever need to consult with me, please do not hesitate to do so. Thank you so much for taking the long journey to my domain, Edward. If you will excuse me then. Your Highness? I think that's a thought. Ah, uh, one more thing. I cannot help but notice that Queen Rosa is not with us today. Yes. She's not feeling very well, I'm afraid. Is that so? That is troubling news. There's no need for alarm. It is nothing life-threatening. Is Prince Theodore doing well? Absolutely. He's out of the castle for training right now. That is good to hear. My wife and I would expect nothing less from our son, after all. Now then, I wish you a safe and pleasant journey home. Yes, my lord. I just remembered. Guards, please present King Edward with the gift we discussed. Yes, sir. Baron, from the king, your majesty. What is this, my lord? A token of our friendship and of my appreciation for your visit. Please accept it. I appreciate your kindness. In that case, I have also brought a souvenir from Damsian. Hmm. This is not erupted into chaos yet, but it's like on a knife's edge. Flowers. How befitting of you, if I may say so. Is something the matter? Oh, nothing. I'm glad you liked them. He, I think he was expecting a different response. Until we meet again, Edward. Certainly. Do take care. This is actually really interesting. Your Highness, what is the meaning of this? I don't know if that's a whisper or a thought. We're going home. Your Highness. Let's go. That is really interesting. This is obviously off. Just like the positioning of the guards and everything, like they're very on high. Like they're like, okay, here's the thing. Even if like, I mean, we, we can piece together because Edward should know that monsters attacked and everything. He talked to all the NPCs, but even if we could like, they, they look like they're gearing for war just from like the stance and the fact that they're very like, oh uh, yeah, it's all great. It's all great. Like now goodbye, you know? And the fact that they're flying everywhere, like it's, it's inherently suspicious activity that Cecil can't explain away. Well, that was certainly quick. We're ready to go when you are. Shall we shove off? 
Where is Rosa? I actually don't remember where she is. Your Highness, what was the meaning of your behavior in front of Cecil? Or sorry, King Cecil. That person was not Cecil. What? The real Cecil would have known what my gift really was. What do you mean? I mean this. Edward takes out a damn flower. Are you sure that was wise? The voices are coming from the flower. Shh. Oh, it's a... Mike? <laughs> He's got a walkie-talkie. Male voice. There is nothing to worry about. Though he was acting extremely suspicious of me. It appears that he came here personally just to check up on matters. Weaker creatures need to be more cautious. Damsian is a hub of commerce, not of war. Its military is no more than mere ceremony. Seizing it would be a simple matter. I see. So the fire crystal is ours any time we wish to take it. What is this? It's called Whisperweed. You can use it to hear voices and sounds from faraway places. I put a bloom of it into the flower arrangement that I presented to Cecil. Overconfidence is ill-advised. It is not overconfidence. My plan is already underway. Plan? The gift Cecil gave us. You must be curious about it. Of course. Well, I must disappoint you, for this box can never be opened. Yeah, I assume it's some hex or something. Are you already aware of its contents, your highness? If my hunch is correct? Yes? Then this contains a carnelian signet. It is the very item behind the tragedy that once befell Mist by Cecil's unknowing hand. Your Highness. Captain, up ahead. Whoa, what's that? My Lord, did, did Yang's ship run into that? Oh no. Leviathan. What a time. The artwork really is stunning. Edward's tail, star-crossed Damsian. There it is. Kane's tail has unlocked. This is this is awesome. Uh, this has been a really good time. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end it there. Um, we're just doing Edward's tail today, and then um, Kane's tail will be the next video, and we might break it up into parts, but it depends on how long it is. If it's longer than 12 hours, I think I have to break it up in parts for my own sanity, because I don't know if I could record a tail for. 12 hours. I mean, I probably could. It depends. But, um, till next time.